we are having multiple validations on a field and I want to display different error message based on the field validation. How can I do that? To display the different error message, first we need to know which validation is failing now. And to get the detail of all the field validations, there is one very important property in the ng model. Also in the ng form, we can use that. If I navigate to this ng model directive, over here you will see we are having these errors. We can use these errors. The type of these errors is this validation errors. Let's click on this one. It is a type of key and value pair. So let's see how it will work. We can use this errors property to get all the failed validations. Here we are working with this form and let's add one more row. And here I'm writing errors. And let's use just save all the changes and go back to the browser. So we are having this object object just to format its value. Let's use the JSON pipe over here like this. Save the changes. Go back to the browser again. So we are having one error over here. It is saying required is true. OK, let's enter the value. Immediately you will see we are getting one more error. The required is gone, but there is one another error. What is that error? It is min length. In the min length, the required length was 10, but actually we have entered the one. By using this errors property, we can display the different error messages. Let's see how. If you will notice, we are displaying the error messages at this particular place. Now here we have to enter two error messages, each for one validation. So let's say this one is the first one and let's put it here like this. And let's use one more span and this one is for the second error message which is minimum length is 10. Now let's add some condition over here to display it at the right time. So this one is for the required and here you will see that first we are getting this error and it is saying required. So we can use this required how star ng if if this book title dot errors dot required and let's use a question mark because this might be undefined in some cases that's it and here let's add the second condition which is the min length this one save all the changes go back to the browser so over here you will see by default we do not have any error if i click over here and click outside then we are having this please enter the book title and if I'm typing B you will see we are getting the second error message the first one is gone now we have min length is 10 using this approach you can add multiple error messages based on your validation so let's say here it is now you will see the length is more than 10 that is why the error is gone and immediately you will see in the errors it is null the status is valid everything is fine now this is how you can display multiple error messages based on your different validations.